video was brought to you by B School for Hustlers. What we're going to do is we have currently the pre-launch of Intellectual Property School. What's that? I'm going to teach you how to do what I do. Once again, you're not going to make the kind of money that I'm making. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. Some of you might, but most of you won't. The benchmark is five to 15,000 within the next six to 12 months. That's what we're shooting for. And I feel that's very doable if you do everything I tell you to do in intellectual property school. You can start a really small YouTube channel and make a lot of money, life-changing money. And life-changing money for most of you, because statistically 81% of you only make $35,000 a month. So if you start making five to $15,000 a month, that's life-changing money. It changes where you live. It changes what you drive. It even changes how you eat. Go ahead and enroll in Intellectual Property School today. Link is below. Use the promo code to get 65% off. Let's get into this video. Strong Cocaine, part two. What's going on guys? This is Glendon Cameron. Glendon Cameron's gonna start doing stand-up. That's right, we're gonna start doing stand-up. Now, I'm gonna deliver you this economic reality. The title of this video is that Strong Cocaine Part Two. What I wanna talk about tonight is learning disabilities. On the whole, 20% of America has learning disabilities. Here we come to this strong cocaine. When you matriculate that to the black community, it's 35%. 35% of the black community has learning disabilities. And it ramif the ramifications are significant and often afflict the people with the learning disabilities for the rest of their life. And what I want to talk about is the music. I have plenty of videos with music that have gotten 70, 80,000 views. Yet, I have people who want to tell me about the music because they are uncomfortable. They're uncomfortable. I wish I could have watched the whole video, but the music was so distracting. Here's that strong cocaine. You, my friend, have a learning disability. You have a short attention span. You have the attention span of a toddler. Squirrel! You can't concentrate on most one thing. You, you, you have to have it spoon fed to you because due to no fault of your own, you have a learning disability. You have a situation where you don't process information correctly. And this isn't something that you actually did or had any say so. It's just the way that you were born. However, here's a, that strong cocaine. This learning disability is something that you can work on. Now that you've been made aware, because I've literally had people losing their minds. The music's too loud. I can't listen. Every time you leave those comments, what you're saying is I have an, a, an, a short attention span. I had someone who left the comment and this is one of my old sayings. The disrespectful hate being disrespected. I want you to think about this. If you want to leave me a comment, it is rare, it does happen, but it is rare that I would have someone that's like, hey, Glendon, this is how I feel. And they're really respectful with their commentary and they have coof and they have tact. Most of you people with your learning disabilities are rough, raw, rough, rugged, and raw. It's like, hey man, turn down that music. Who are you talking to? You're not talking to me respond to that I will probably cuss you out because you deserve it because 
the disrespectful hate being disrespected. They hate being disrespected. They can't stand it. But they will be disrespectful to you in a heartbeat and get mad when you turn around and be disrespectful to them. So I'm giving you this strong cocaine part too because it's a, it's a huge problem because I have a speech impediment and I am dyslexic. And fortunately, I had a beautiful, amazing grandmother that taught me how to read. But more importantly, she taught me how to navigate my learning disabilities because she was a teacher. So thank God for my grandma. Thank God for Maddie Strode Cameron. Thank God for her because I could be like one of you watching YouTube and I get distracted and then I want to say something to the content creator that's disrespectful, off bar, because I am uncomfortable. Whenever I do these things, I make you uncomfortable and you're seeking comfort versus clarity in education. So going forward, and I'm delivering you this strong cocaine. Now that you know that you have a problem, how do we address it? Number one, if you consume TikTok, stop. TikTok will permanently rewire your brain and kill your attention span. And people love it, like TikTok, and you got people on YouTube trying to create shorts. Uh, TikTok is mentally unhealthy. Let me say this again. TikTok is mentally unhealthy. And if you're consuming a lot of TikTok, you should be well aware of what you're doing to yourself. And if you think that I am lying, Google the effects of TikTok on attention spans. And you will see there's been clinical studies that will show you that it is damaging and not good if you already have a short attention span. It makes things worse. Now, here's where the ramifications come in. Let's talk about personal relationships. If you're a person with a short attention span, it makes it very hard for you to focus on your mate, whether it's a man or woman. And it makes it real hard for the person that you're in the relationship to feel cherished and valued because you, they're like, you're not paying attention to me. You're not listening to me. And they're telling you the truth. But once again, be disrespectful. Hate to be disrespected. The disrespectful hate to hear the truth. The disrespectful hate to be told about themselves. That's why this is called that strong cocaine part two. Because having this learning of disability impacts everything in your life. It impacts your interpersonal relationship. It impacts your work life. It impacts every sector of your life. Because I've been doing this for a while. And before I release a video, I'll check the audio level. And if I can hear myself clearly and distinctly and I can hear the music, I put it up. And once again, I get these people with these short attention spans losing their minds. I want you to think about it. What are you doing? You're sitting on your ass listening to a video. And because I'm asking you to focus on my words and you're struggling and that makes you uncomfortable, then you want to go in the comments and and pretty much why Glendon, um, you know, I love your content, but I need to tell you, I can't watch this video because of the music. What you're really saying is, hey, Glendon, I have a short attention span and it is challenging for me to watch your video because either I'm going to focus on the music or I'm going to focus on your words and the music is capturing my attention because I don't know how to focus. That's what you're saying. That's what you're saying. And I don't think in your life anyone has ever told you that you have a short attention span. No one's ever broke it down for you and let you know what the issue is. 
So I want you guys to begin to work on your attention span, cut out the TikTok, start to read books that are not entertaining. And this is going to be really, really hard because you're going to struggle. You're going to struggle to read those paragraphs because you're not interested and force yourself to do it. I have a learning disability. I have a speech impediment. I'm dyslexic. And due to the teachings and trainings of my grandmother, I figured out how to navigate that stuff where I never got behind. So you can do it if you want to. And don't be coming at me because th this is once again, when people critique my videos and I come back with a critique of my own, they, they, they like, whoa, whoa, it ain't about me. It ain't about me. Yes, it is. It is about you. And this message is being delivered in love. Notice that I'm not cussing you out or calling you names or you're not dumb. You're not dumb at all. You just have a learning disability that impacts every sector of your life. And today you should be made aware of it. If you're black, one in three black people have this problem, which is why entertainment is such a big thing to the black community. This is why you see certain things. This is why you see certain personalities that seem to resonate, that can keep your attention because you have that short attention span. You have that learning disability. Because once again, this message is delivered in love. I want you to be better. I want you to win. But as long as you're walking around with this defunctional attention span and your ability to concentrate like I'm about to say something that's going to be incredibly challenging. When I wrote my first book, I used to sit down and write for three to four hours a day, sit in a chair and put the words on the page. The people that I'm talking to with the short attention span, that would be absolute hell. That would be misery because you would struggle. You might even get a headache because your mind is going to be racing. You want to go and do, you're going to want to stand up. You want to, it, it's, see, this, this is something else too. All of the world's richest people can focus. They have extremely long attention spans, extremely long attention spans. So if you want to change your financial prospects, change your attention span. Go ahead and take this strong cocaine because once again, I'm not calling anybody any names. I'm not making fun of you. Because like I said, it ain't your fault. You were just born this way. But there's something you can do about it if you choose to. Because I'm going to continue to put music in my videos. And, you know, every now, like mostly I just delete the comments when it's like, oh, the music's too loud. I can't watch the video. I'm like, oh, well, and I just normally delete it. And the day I actually talked to someone, and when I told him about himself, he didn't like it. Because the disrespectful hate to be disrespected. Or they will take being told about themselves as being disrespectful. And the reality was, I was quite respectful. And I told him, and I just blocked him and said, it is about your ass. Because I have thousands and thousands of people watching these videos with no problem. But once again, there's this crew. The music's too loud. And you'll leave all these comments and you're just saying, I can't focus. And that's got to be a horrible life. That's got to suck to not be able to focus, to not be able to pay attention, to not be able to really present yourselves in an appropriate manner. And this learning disability is huge. This is one of the reasons that like let's talk about it because i got so many people who want me to interview my most successful students <sighs> all right let me tell you why i don't do that typically my most successful students are smarter well positioned and they have some extra stuff going on that the average person doesn't so i would be pulling because it wouldn't be comparing apples to apples it would be comparing apples to bananas. So these people are different. 
They don't have a short attention spans. They can focus. Often many of them well capitalized. So I can go ahead and interview these people and we can talk and you can revel in their success. And then you try to do the same thing and you're going to fail. Because I get a lot of people who want me. And look, once again, uh, my best students and clients don't want to be on YouTube. They see what happens to me. They see the critiques. They see the comments. They're like, I don't want that. And I'm about to say something. This is not in reference to the nerd tribe. You guys are beautiful. You support me. You get it. But black folks are terrible to their own. Unless I, if I was shucking and jiving and I was talking about some millionaire game and you're trying to pour into you and all this other bullshit, you would be happy with me because I would be on your level. But see, I'm not on your level. I'm like here. And what I'm trying to do is to reach down and pull you up. And a lot of you are heavy, heavy, heavy. And you fight and kick and scream because you're comfortable down there. You're comfortable in the gutter. You're comfortable being a person with a short attention span and a lack of success in your life. You're comfortable with that. And that's why you assiduously fight against me because I am changing your reality. I am pushing you. I am mocking you. I talk in this strong language. I give you this strong cocaine. And you don't like it. You don't like it. Because, see, I don't speak down to you. And I get those comments. It's like, you're speaking down to... No, I'm speaking from where I am. And I want to bring you up. I'm not going to crawl down there in the gutter. I'm not going to crawl down there in the ghetto to relate to you. When I know that if you move up a few levels, the air gets clearer. There's less people up here. You can make better moves. So I'm trying to elevate you. I'm not trying to demean you. And many of you will fight, push, kick, cuss, scream, because I am pushing you out of your comfort zone. I am actually saying, Step up and be the person that you could be. Do not settle for mediocrity. Do not settle for a substandard life. Do not settle for living in the hood. Do not settle for low income. I am pushing you. I'm trying to bring you up. There's this song. I'm going down. Well, I'm not going down. I'm trying to bring you up. I'm trying to elevate you. And some of you get it. And some of you have been elevated. But once again, those of you, once again, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. You can't help what you were born with and what you were not born with. So I'm not going to assign blame except in this one area. Now that you know that you have a short attention span, now that you know you have a learning disability, you cannot say that you are unaware. Because until this moment, until this day, you were unaware. You didn't know what was going on. You just knew you struggled in school. You know studying was hard. You were completely unaware. But now you know. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? That's the question. What are you going to do about it? Because now you're aware. Now you know. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to make a change? Are you going to start reading books? Are you going to stop seeking to be entertained with short clips are you going to start watching long form content are you going to learn how to focus because see this is this is something you can learn this is something that you can bring into your life this is something you can do if you choose to now that you're aware that you have a problem and i'm speaking to the young person who i blocked who said it ain't about me it is, my dear sir, it is very much about you and your short attention span. Because I guarantee you, and I'm about to make some assumptions, you don't even have $2,000 cash money in the bank. More than likely, you're driving a car that needs to be repaired. More than likely, you're living in the hood. More than likely, you're not even anywhere close 
to your potential. Am I am I am I am I cooking? Are we cooking? Am I getting close? Because statistically, what I just described is the norm. Criminal minds profiling. I do that shit quite well. So it, you, you got to ask yourself, why aren't I successful? Because you have 24 hours in the day and I have 24 hours in the day. But the thing is, my television isn't on. I do not watch TikTok. I do not seek to be entertained. The last two weeks I've been consuming a lot of podcast content, which has been excellent. I learned so much. And it's very funny how the people who are putting podcast tips on YouTube are actually useful, helpful, transparent, and honest. Whereas people in the financial sector, once again, that CPM, it's very high and they can make a lot of money if they get a lot of views. They will straight up lie to you and tell you things that aren't true. So once again, shout out to the podcast community on YouTube. These guys are great. They're awesome. Been very helpful. My podcast is almost at 700 downloads. And because I've been researching and I've been looking, that's good for a brand new podcast. There are people who launch podcasts and they'll be in like week 10, week 12, and they may have a total of 50 or 100 downloads. I'm going to be at over a thousand downloads before the end of this month, maybe by next week. So I'm cooking because the podcast community on YouTube has been helpful. And you know what I had to do? I had to sit there and watch their videos two to five times. I had to listen, turned off the music, the TV isn't on. And I would sit there and I would take notes because see, this, this is one of the things when you develop a, a long attention span. You can get wealthy. Let me say that again for the people in the back. If you develop a long attention span, you could get wealthy because you can focus, you can concentrate. But once again, most of my uh, YouTube audience is black. And with that 30 something percent learning disability rate impacting the black community because I'm about to say it. This is going to be that strong cocaine. Most of you are here because your daddy was horny. Not because he wanted to have a child. Not because he respected your mother. Not because he wanted to form a family. He just had a hard dick and he was looking for some pussy. And that's how you ended up here. And I want you to think. I have some friends who got married and they struggled to have a child. And they became very success, uh, obsessed about it. And one day I was over there talking to them and I said, look, guys, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's just going to take a little time. But you're going to be you're going to make some wonderful parents because I can tell that you want to be the best parents. You want to be a great mother. You want to be a great father. And the wife, her name is June. She started crying. She said, thank you for saying that. I just feel so inadequate because I want a baby so bad. Six months later, she was pregnant with twins and they're the best parents ever. And I guarantee you, because they were wanted, mom and dad were married and they wanted a family that these children are going to be cared for, loved, and they're going to turn out better than you. Because the only reason you're here is because your daddy's dick was hard. That's the only reason you're here. You're not here for any other higher purpose. And this is why you grow up the way you grew up. This is why you felt unloved. This is why your mother never hugged you. This is why your mother never said she was proud of you because you were not wanted. That's the strong cocaine part two. And you grew up feeling some kind of way, feeling lost. You may have run away from home a few times because you knew something wasn't just quite right. But you couldn't figure it out because you were just a merely a child. And then you got this learning disability. And you grew up in this household where the only reason you exist on this earth is because your daddy's dick was hard and he wanted to fuck. That's the only reason you're here. You were not planned for. You weren't cared for. You were not desired. 
And your only reason your mama didn't abort you because she didn't believe in abortion. That's it. Strong cocaine number two, part two. That's it. And then you couple that with this learning disability. Then you couple this with your mediocre ass life. Then you couple this with social media. Social media creates this thirst because you can see what is possible and you see that you don't have it. And you wonder, how can I get that? And that's why you fall for all these scams and snake oil salesmen and charlatans because once again, you're not stupid. You're not stupid, but you're uneducated, you're unseasoned, you have a learning disability, so you're very easy to take advantage of. Very easy, very easy. And every day here on YouTube and TikTok, you're taken advantage of. You're used for views. You're used to gain someone views who will lie to you to get views. Won't care about your success. Won't care about if you can go on and have a good life. They don't, they don't give a damn. They just simply don't give a damn. A strong cocaine part two. A strong cocaine. So today is the first day of the rest of your life. What are you going to do with it? Now you know. And once again, I'm speaking to that gentleman who had an issue with the music because he has a short attention span. Because they get so irritated because they're struggling and they're like, do I focus on the music or do I focus on his words? What do I do? What do I do? It's so hard. It's so terrible. Now you know. What are you going to do with this information? What are you going to do with this information? Now you know.